How's it going everybody? Nathaniel from RC Insight here and today I am reviewing LEGO City Set 60292, the town center. This set has 790 pieces and retails for $140 in Canada. I believe it is only $110 in the United States. Uh, the set comes with nine minifigures and it also has the new road plate scheme. So as always, first we'll start by looking at the minifigures. So looking at the minifigures, I'm first going to start with the one child minifigure that we have in this set. And she is training to become a fencer, a dojo master. I don't know exactly what she's training to become, but she is a part of the dojo here. And so you'll notice as a part of that, she has this uh, white torso print with kind of a, a blue and, and you know, off a brown jacket there which then is tied around the back. It's almost like an apron in a way, which is interesting. And it's tied around the back there, you can see, and uh, just the white legs. So kind of a white outfit with that uh, overall apron. I don't know what you want to call it on the front. Uh, so it is an interesting print, but, but not very unique in my opinion. And then we do get her bright smiley face and uh, the double pigtail hairpiece, which is pretty common at this point. And she does have a double-sided face. You can see at the back, she is uh, smiling with her eyes almost squinted shut. I really like that LEGO City has started including the double-sided faces more and more recently. It's really nice. I'm glad they have. So sticking with the dojo, next we'll look at the other member of our dojo who also happens to be the driver of our blue mini car. Uh, he is an old fellow, a little bit weird looking. Uh, he's got that scruffy beard face print, uh, the gray beard, and then uh, the old gray hair piece. Uh, I have seen this hair piece a few times now. I have not seen it in this light gray color that makes him look like a relatively old human being. Uh, the torso print is exactly the same as that on our child minifigure, and the pants the leg prints here are uh, actually a little bit interesting. Uh, it's nice to get a leg print. It's not just plain white. Uh, there is kind of some hanging, dangling robes there as well below his belt, uh, which is a nice little touch. And he's got uh, the blue gloves on his hand, which I think is worth noting the child did as well. Then we'll get the generics out of the way. This is our cop, and he has that dark blue biker helmet. If I take that off, you can see he only has a single-sided face. Uh, he's got those orange goggles there and a bit of a smiley face. And then you can see he has that newer police uh, print. I don't, I don't have any of the sets, police sets from 2021 uh, for the first time ever. I just didn't think any of them were worth it. So I don't know if this is uh, in line with the 2021 police theme, but it is also quite similar to the Sky Police print with that very uh, light baby blue uh, torso color and then the police badge, belt, uh, radio, all fairly standard, but in a new color and uh, police across the back. So it's a standard police torso in terms of what you get, but it is a bit of a new print with a nice new color. And so I guess if you are a police collector, not a bad way to get this. And then just the dark blue pants. Then we have our lady firefighter here. I believe this is identical to the torso print that we got in the fire hazard truck. It is definitely part of the 2021 fire torso prints. So nothing special or exclusive here. I got the little reflective lines in both the legs and the torso, a little presser gauge on the right there, and uh, really the fire logo on the back, nothing too special. Take her helmet off, and you can see she's got a bit of a muddied face, uh, which I've seen in some of the mining sets. I haven't seen it used a lot, though, and kind of a half smile. Then you flip it around in the back, and she's got another weird half smile face with her eyebrows kind of tilted in. I don't really know what uh, either of these faces are supposed to be, but she's definitely at least sort of smiling here. And so that is our firefighter minifigure. And then we have our common criminal. This is the oldest guy in the book. He's got the beanie. He's got that criminal face with the with the kind of dotted scruffy beard. Uh, he's got the classic white and gray criminal shirt, which has been slightly updated with some wrinkles and uh, a little bit of a collar and an untied button. So it's a, an updated but very classic crook with the light beige pants and then a crowbar and the pizza box. Obviously no two-sided face. Basically a classic iconic minifigure. Nothing unique about him. Then we get into the minifigures who are actually interesting. And so first here we have our pizza guy. 
Uh, he's got a very Italian looking mustache with the big bushy eyebrows. A nice face print. I really like this face print a lot. Uh, obviously no two-sided face. He's got that classic chef's hat. He's holding a pizza box in one hand and a kind of a wooden ladle spatula. I don't know what it, what you would call it in his other hand. Uh, it's for pizza ovens. We all know that. But it's, it's actually the uh, ore piece. And then uh, a really simple but effective torso print with the white shirt. Why do chefs wear white shirts, by the way? That's an aside, but just why? With the nice little red kind of uh, tie. It's not an actual tie, but it's tied around his neck. It looks good. And uh, there's some continuity at the back there with the red wrapping around and then just a plain white uh, back of the torso print. Nothing special there. And the dark green pants. Well, not dark green, but the green pants to match the pizza box and match the color outfit. Then we have our mom minifigure, and she is carrying her child. Uh, we have no idea if it's a boy or a girl. She's carrying her child in this little pouch piece, and so I will take the child out. You can see uh, it's the classic child uh, build, uh, body, torso, legs, all in one here. Uh, it's, it's adorable. I mean, it's all the same, but it's adorable. Nice white shirt and a little smiley, big-eyed face. That's it for him. And then I took that out so that we can actually take the pouch off the mom here and get a better look at her torso print. I apologize for featuring a decapitation in my video. Uh, there you can see her torso print is just kind of a light blue jacket and she's got a purple shirt underneath with a star on it. And then you flip around to the back and a pretty plain print. Uh, also a decent hair piece here. I like this one quite a bit. I like the kind of the flowy hair feel. She's got a smile on her face. And uh, if you flip it around, you'll see no two-sided face for her. I think it would have made sense to, for her to have one, given she has a child that can lead to a whole slew of emotions. And so I think that was a bit of a missed opportunity there. And then just pretty plain pants. Then our second to last minifigure here is the guy that I am affectionately calling the cool dude. And he is walking his dog on a very odd leash piece, but it is a piece that I've not seen before. I don't know if it's new to this set, but yeah, here's the dog. It's a fairly standard dog, uh, but that, that leash piece is something that I haven't seen before. just connects on like that, uh, so it's interesting. I don't think it looks the best, but, uh, you know, just to get a person actually walking their dog is always fun, and so I think it's worthwhile for that. Um, putting the dog aside to look at our cool dude. He's got the glasses, the kind of slick back hair piece with the sideburns, so that's how you know he's cool. Uh, you can see no two-sided face for him either, but I really do like this glasses face. I think it's a great print with the big bushy eyebrows. Then that red plaid shirt looks so good. He looks like a Canadian lumberjack, especially with the brown pants. Just have to point it out, he does look very Canadian in a sense. I love the red plaid torso. Uh, there's a nice checkered pattern on too. It's very detailed. I think it looks fantastic and I'm red's my favorite color So what can I say, but this is a really fun minifigure nothing crazy special about him But really fun mini minifigure like it a lot and then lastly the most fun minifigure the why the heck does she have straight orange hair minifigure? Uh, I really don't like the hair piece. I don't like this minifigure period But I do not like the orange hair and this hair piece. I don't like either of them. I think it looks horrible um and then the huge red glasses, goggles, and the kind of little lipstick smiley face there. But she is our truck driver. She's working the garbage and recycling route. And you can tell that she's got that nice reflective vest print uh, over top of a kind of a blue construction style shirt and just the blue pants. And uh, again, here, no two-sided face for her. Yes, I saved it for last because I think it's the wackiest minifigure, but I'm not a big fan of it, that's to say the least. Uh, don't know what else more to say. Don't like the face print, don't like the hair piece. So yeah, overall, not very big fan on this one, but definitely the most out there minifigure I think we've gotten in LEGO City so far. So going to the individual builds here, just as I have done with the other sets with road plates, I first wanted to just show them all together here without the road plates so that you realize uh, how much the road plates impact how this set looks as a whole. Uh, and you realize that there's not nearly as much here without the road plates. There's still a good amount. You have two vehicles, two buildings, and then some side builds. So it's not bad, but certainly looking at this, uh, all of a sudden it does no longer look like it's a set that's worth, you know, 110, 140 dollars. Uh, it looks more like an 80 to 90 dollar set, I would say. So I just wanted to do this so that you can kind of visualize what it looked like uh, apart. And then I will now go through each of the builds separately. 
So we will obviously start with the most basic of the built, and that is the police bike. And it is literally just a dark blue bicycle uh, piece with these tires with the kind of silver reflective rims, which I like, but this is obviously far from special. Then we have our fire motorcycle, which again is entirely standard. They didn't even take the time to put a sticker on the front here. You just have the two stickers at the sides here, and they are stickered pieces. I really wish that for these bicycle shells, particularly the motorcycle shells, they would just go to being printed pieces as opposed to stickers. I think it would look so much better if they just shifted to printed pieces. However, it is the standard motorbike layout with that, uh, well, now it's no longer that new of the body shell piece that clips onto the bike underneath. Uh, it's the red print for fire, obviously. And then at the back here, you do get a little blue light brick, siren brick, whatever you want to call it. And uh, you also do get in this a little one of these water cannons, which obviously does shoot, but I'm not going to demo that for you because we've all seen it. And uh, that is it for the little fire motorcycle build. It clips on just like so. Then we have our mini blue car, and for some reason, I love this. This is the first mini car that I can remember getting since, oh, like, the old airport wave way back in, like, 2007, 2008. Well, oh, that might even be 2009. Maybe it's a little more recent than I remember, but still, like, it's the first mini car I remember building in over 10 years. Now, that doesn't mean that we haven't gotten one since then. I just don't recall one. This is the first time I remember building one and getting one in a set in a very long time, and so for that reason alone, I love it, and I love the blue color, especially the color of the lights here. And you get the little red light brick at the back. No license plate on the back. Uh, you get two little swingy doors. <laughs> the proportions look a little off, and you have the same windshield piece front and back. Uh, it obviously does have room to seat our minifigure in there. I don't need to show you just enough room, uh, but I do, you know, there's not much to say on this build, uh, even just a little standard car plate base. Uh, not much to say on it, but I do really like it, and I'll leave it at that. Mini car is a win. Then we have our one single gas pump here. Then this connects to the road plate layout, obviously. Um, it goes adjacent to the car garage and it says Octan E. So I am under the impression that this might be an electric charging station. That's kind of what I'm thinking, but nevertheless, it serves as a gas pump electric charging station. Your call. I really like the color scheme here for it. No matter how basic, I love that they went with this yellow and baby blue along the base to juxtapose that. I think it looks fantastic. Uh, this here is a printed piece. The Octan is stickered on. Really small build, but it's a fun little addition to the set. I like it. Then next we have our little park build. Not too much to say on this. Just this little uh, kind of tile piece to go around this mini garden over here with the tree and the little plants overhanging the edge. A very nice, simple, very simple bench piece, just all on a green base plate. And then obviously the highlight of the park is this little uh, baby feature that's right next to the bench to keep our family's baby safe. And I'll actually show that because the baby does sit on there nicely. Just pops onto the stud in the middle here and you can rock him or her back and forth. You got the googly eyes at the front there. I think this is a cool little build and I love how it actually rocks so well. It doesn't really add anything to the set overall. It's kind of meaningless. I think it's cool. I think it's fun to rock it around and uh, it's here, so you might as well enjoy it. I think that's a nice little touch, but it doesn't really have much to do with the park. Otherwise, again, a small, simple little build. I don't have too much to say on it. I don't have really any thoughts on it either. Then we have our recycling containers build, and I adore this. I've wanted recycling containers and a recycling truck for so long, so maybe that's why I'm a little biased, but these are fantastic. You have the bottles here in three different colors uh, stuck into the plate on the right-hand side here next to the one that obviously has the bottle sticker there, sticker, not a printed piece, and then the paper here, again, sticker, not a printed piece. Uh, my one little gripe is that the paper here is loose. It just sits on. It doesn't uh, have any way of attaching. I would have liked for there not to be loose pieces in this, but it is what it is, and they are loose, and I love how they actually do fit inside, so the paper can slide through there, and obviously the bottles can fit through that hole. It's perfectly designed. Uh, you just have the basic shovel and broom on the, the left hand in the green garbage bin. Nothing new or special about that. And you flip it around to the back, and there are doors that come off. That's the proper way of opening them, not lifting the roof off. And then I open the door, uh, I get my items out from the inside. So if you want to play around with that, 
that's an easy way to do it. And you can easily reset your display. And that ties directly into the next part of this build, which is our recycling pickup truck. Uh, again, this is a really nice build, pretty simple and standard by LEGO standpoints. I mean, it's what you can expect from a truck at this point. Uh, there is this use of what I believe is a new piece to 2021. It was also featured on the Ninjago Legacy Boulder Blaster set where it's just like three tiered kind of uh, faded, like three tiered kind of gradually stepping down plate piece. It's new. I haven't seen it before. Uh, and they use it for the front grille of the truck, which is definitely different than we've seen in the past. Again, sticker on the front here. It does take away from kind of the traditionally more unique grille designs. You just have two lights on the right and left here and then that uh, at the center. So it definitely takes away some pieces there. But overall, I think it looks pretty good and it looks clean and nothing else special to say about the truck build. But it does, of course, have this moving working crane, which then can swing in and pick up the recycling builds, which I, I absolutely adore. Why? Don't ask me. But uh, you can have a little fun with this, play around with it. Whoops. Pick them up like so. There you go. Raise them up. There you go. Now I have more on screen. Swing it around and lower it down into place. And they do obviously stick on here as well, like so. I'll show you the other one on the truck just so you can see what that looks like. Like I said, I absolutely love these recycling bins. And so that's what it looks like when the bins are uh, on the truck. And you kind of got to figure out what to do with uh, the crane then. Just kind of swing it out the back, I'd say, like so. Um, but yes, that is what the truck looks like when you have the bins on it. Makes it look a little more full and complete for sure. Love the bins. The bins, I don't know why, but they are a highlight of this set for me. Absolutely fantastic additions. And the truck overall is decent. A nice little play feature that you can actually hook them up and load them on. And likewise, you can also kind of clip on there and uh, offload them as well if you so desire. Right, spin it around, put it back down and obviously stick it on to where it belongs over here on the left off screen. Uh, and yeah, so that is it for this truck build. Like I said, uh, I, I really like it. The truck is standard, but just the whole play feature functionality with the recycling bins, how they all go together, really fun feature. I've been wanting to collect that for a long time, so that is a highlight of this set for me. It is worth noting as I stick these back on, that uh, on the bottom here for the, the recycling plate piece, uh, there are just these two little studs and the, the recycling bins fit on nice and easy like so, just like they do onto the trailer of the truck. So then moving on to our building builds, this is the first of the two of them, and it is the Octan Car Wash. It has been quite some time since we've gotten a nice Octan Car Wash, and this build does feel pretty simple, almost a junior's to me. Uh, you know, it's very boxy and square. You've got some bricks to make the walls there, uh, big glass window wall pieces, uh, same thing at the back here, and then just some long of oh, probably 2 by 16 if I were to guess. Red plate pieces just kind of running across the top here to finish that off. I do love the red. I love how much it pops. And then you got the Octane sticker at the front. You have the little green and red lights there to show that it's full. And you can see uh, this little three easy step sticker here for how you get the car wash. Uh, the cars, both vehicles do fit through this nicely, so I'll just show you how that looks for the sake of it. Um, so you can see our little car doesn't make much of an impact, drives right through the middle on the black. And then uh, as for our bigger truck build here, this guy definitely pushes those cleaning wheels at the side a little bit more and also kind of comes in contact with the little water hanging from the top. And so you do have to be a little bit more careful when pulling this guy through because it's a little more finicky to fit through. He does fit through, but uh, it's easy for that to go wrong. It's not as nice of a fit. And so that brings up the fact that these uh, brush pieces are on little Technic swivels. They do bounce back, but they do get pushed to the side, and they do also spin so that you do get kind of that car cleaning effect. They also pop off really easily because there's nothing holding them down. They're just sitting on top of these Technic pieces like so. And then same thing, the water up top does move back and forth. So as a car passes through, it can feel like they're getting sprayed. They can push that, whatever. Uh, and that is about it for the car wash. Like I said, it is a pretty simple, basic build, uh, but I like it nonetheless, despite its kind of basic feel. 
uh, and I really love the red, and obviously octane color schemes are I'm a big fan of. So overall, uh, not crazy f big fan of this, but it's a good build, and it fits well in the set. And then last but not least, we have our pizza slash dojo building. Love this walkway at the front here, up to leading up to the door, little fence at the side. Uh, this table out front feels really alone and bland and incomplete. Not a big fan of that. Maybe there's no chairs because they're encouraging social distancing. I'm not sure, but really this area of the courtyard of this structure feels very blank and lackluster. Over here we have a stack of old pizza boxes. And, you know, if there's a fireman, we obviously have to have a fire play feature. So it's just on this little brick that turns down here in the bottom right. And when that flips up, you can see the pizza boxes are on fire. Uh, and then it just flips back down when your firefighter puts it out or sprays it with her cannon. Um, as for building detailing, you will notice that uh, for the pizza shop, we have the city pizza. It says open, and then there's a little pizza flyer in the window there. I put the wooden spatula thing there. Uh, it doesn't actually go there. It's an extra piece. Flipping it around to look at the inside view, you will notice uh, not too much going on here, a very basic catch register setup, uh, but I really do like this stone fire pizza oven. You can see the little flame pieces in the back. You can see the oven going up and the chimney leads to nowhere at the upper floor, which is the dojo. So that's not really thought out, but stone fire pizza oven is a nice touch. I think it looks good. I'm really glad they included that in this set if they're gonna be doing a proper pizza built. Then for the second floor of the dojo, you get this nice dangly piece, which I've seen at a bunch of 2021 sets, as well as another stickered piece that says the Dragon Dojo. Love the detailing on the windows. I love how they're kind of pushed back and indented. And then also the styling that you have up here with those. Uh, it just has a more old feeling. And uh, if you flip around to the inside, not too much going on here. You have a uh, dojo helmet on a handstand in the wall, as well as a katana there and then another dojo helmet down here, and a bunch of katanas in that uh, barrel. Uh, I just put them all in here. There were some extra pieces, and I just threw them all in there, because why not? And you got your red carpet for fencing, wrestling, whatever in the middle. Uh, again, a pretty simple, basic interior build, but it does look great from this side looking into it. I think it looks fantastic. Then the highlight of this building for me is the roof. I love the detailing on the front here. Uh, it's much more detailed than most Lego roofs, I feel like. It feels more detailed than the rest of the set, in fact. Uh, you have these little knob pieces, don't know how to describe them, they look good. The statues across the top, and then I love the fact that we have a green roof. We've got some cherries or tomatoes, whichever you prefer to be growing up here, and then some other little plants as well. I think it looks great. I wish we got more green slash garden roofs, and then this is what it looks like from the uh, backside. Nothing too special and interesting, but overall I really like, I love these plant pieces, and so I think it looks really good and really finishes off this building nicely. And I do like the color scheme here a lot with this kind of darker brown, almost reddish brick at the bottom, then the light beige at the uh, midsection and the dark gray at the top. I think it looks really, really good. And of course, as you'd expect with any multi-story build, this is... Uh, kind of built-in segments like most Lego buildings are, where it's easy to pop on and off so that you can access and look in the interiors. Uh, same thing with the roof here as well. Pop on, pop off, and it's built separately. So just thought I'd mention that. So this is the road plate layout without anything on it. Uh, obviously, it can be reconfigured, so this set can be configured a few different ways. I am not going to showcase that for you though, and there is a key reason to that, and that has to do with the way these road can and that has to do with the way these road plates actually connect. But I will talk about that in another video that I plan to make in a few days. So if you're watching this after that video has been out, it'll be linked in the description and also there'll be a pop-up in the cards right now. So I'm not gonna show you the other configurations for the set because it's just a real pain and hassle and I'm gonna talk about why that is in my road plates video. I'm gonna address many of my thoughts and issues with the road plates. I just wanted to show you the basic T road place layout that this set is advertised as and comes with. So when you are actually building it, this is the layout that you're gonna get. 
So as for instruction books, this set comes with five of them. And again, I feel like I've been harping on this, but I am not a big fan of what LEGO City has been doing with their instruction books of weight. Uh, here we get one in the uh, standard smaller size and then four in this larger square size, which really surprises me given the builds that most of them are like this. Uh, but again, talking about not liking what LEGO City is doing with their instruction books from the plain blue backgrounds to not being numbered at all. Here we get these sets with this massive, big, childish looking number on the bottom. I hate it. I just, it looks so bad. And I don't know why LEGO City ever changed from what they were doing. And the other thing is it's the same flip and print on all of these. It's just so boring. Same print, same print, same print. I have no idea what I'm building until I actually open the book. I wish we would have got some more unique prints that actually showed us what we were getting. Like if I open up book four, I would like it to be, you know, a picture of the park and the recycling bins, even if that's boring. And also, uh, why is an entire book dedicated to just that, right? Like, and why does it have to be this big? So there's some questions that I have here. I know I'm harping on the instruction books too hard, but I just, I just don't like what Lego City's done with their instruction books of late. Uh, I'm not going to talk through the, the uh, kind of sneak peeks or sets that we get in the back. Uh, not worth it in my opinion. Uh, but I will mention that we do get one book with the hard. Uh, seam, which I really like. I wish all instruction books were like this. Really like having the hard seam. It's much more professional, and I love that. So that is one plus to this. But other than that, not much to say in the way of instruction books. As for the box here, this is one of the big boxes, the $100 plus box, that's for sure. Uh, but again, nothing too special. It's the exact same print that we get on all the instruction books, which again, I'm, I'm not the most pleased about. Uh, you get the pieces down in the bottom right corner with that new kind of brick stylization for the Lego City and the logos. Uh, you have this little road plates included up in the top right corner. And then you'll notice uh, on the bottom right here, you get the two named minifigures from the TV show, uh, Shirley Keeper and Madison. And obviously that is why the minifigure looks so unique. The one with the orange hair that I don't like is because she's from the TV show. Uh, at the top here, you can see all nine minifigures kind of in action. And then if I flip it around to the back again, uh, pretty disappointing uh, in terms of what we get at the back as well. Just this... Uh, this thing that says from the hit TV series, as always, for, it seems for the new LEGO City sets, and then the road plates where it says connect your city, and then a couple snapshots of the recycling truck doing its thing, and even going through the car wash, both vehicles going through the car wash, and you get uh, uh, some of them dueling it out at the dojo. Don't know why the uh, chef is on the roof of the back, but yeah, just not a very interesting back image at all. You really only have the one... It, picture and then a few little snapshots on the right hand side so very bland uninteresting box and with that covered i will jump into my final thoughts on this set so as for my overall thoughts on this set uh there's several different little things that i want to talk about uh, i'm going to make a separate video on the road plates and why i think they are a failed experiment why i don't like them personally but first what i will tell you is that the road plates make this set seem bigger than it is and so if lego's goal was to make it feel like this is worth 140 dollars canadian 110 us when you're only getting you know not even 800 pieces then they've done a good job at making it feel worth it with the road plates because this feels like a big set when in reality, it really isn't. In fact, this feels bigger than the gorgeous Spring Lantern Festival, which is sitting over to my right right now, which has more than double the amount of pieces in this set. And yet this one feels bigger than that. And there's only a $20 price difference, Canadian, I think $10 price difference in the United States for a set with 790 pieces versus a set with like... 1800 pieces, 1700 pieces. There's so there's a real issue here with Lego and their price points for Lego City sets. Like it's really just these are way too expensive. Uh, so I wanted to talk about that first is how the road plates make this set feel bigger than it is. And they they make it feel almost like you're justified in paying the price when you really aren't. There's not as much here as you would think. Which is why when I went through everything individually, I actually put the road plates aside so that you could see how much is actually here. 
So like I said, I'm going to save the full road plates discussion for another video, uh, but there are a couple other little things in this set that just seemed very unnecessary to me. The inclusion of the firemen, police, and crook minifigures seem totally pointless. For a set that gives me nine minifigures, I would like to have something more than another fireman, police, and crook. Like, really, in a way, it's only six, and then there's the baby, obviously, but really, it's only kind of six minifigures. It's only six minifigures that actually feel feel somewhat fresh and new here, right? You've got three minifigures that you can get in any LEGO City set you ever want. So again, it feels like either it unnecessarily inflates the minifigure count, which probably contributes to the overall price, or it's just, it's unoriginal. If you're going to give me nine minifigures, give me nine unique ones, or just give me six. And so, so that's my other uh, little gripe with that. However, with that said, overall, when this set is laid out like this, as you can see in front of me, I do think it looks great. But if we put aside price points for a minute, this is one of my favorite LEGO City sets in quite some time. Uh, and I think this year's LEGO City wave price aside is fantastic. Uh, the car wash build, like I mentioned, is not my favorite, but everything else here is a standout. And getting a dojo in a LEGO City set is awesome. Getting the green roof in a LEGO City set is awesome. So there's some things in here that just really are fantastic. And some nice inclusions. Having the recycling truck, you know, if you missed that set a few years ago, boom, you get it here. Um, and I think this will integrate so nicely into people's cities. Like, I know this will be fantastic for my city, and, and I'm going to love it so much. Uh, and I was in need of a new car wash, too. My uh, old Octane gas station car wash is not in good shape. So so this really is a very nice set when you put aside the price. I like the vehicle builds here. I like the building builds here. And little side accessory builds, whether that be the little gas pump, the park, or the, the recycling bins, it all just comes together really nicely, and it is a good set. So overall, guys, my thoughts on this are positive. I do like this set. If it was $100, I would love this set because this is one of the best sets from purely a build perspective that LEGO City has done in a long time. It's their best big set, I'd argue, in probably three or four years uh, at that. You know, it's probably the best that I can think of since that really, really big one uh, a few years back. And I can't remember what, they're all town center, city square, all that. I can't remember, main square, like it's too much to keep track of, but I think it was three or four years ago one that had the Lego shop in it. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. I think it's the best, best big center piece Lego city set since then. Uh, really good, just too expensive. And the too expensive just keeps it from being an amazing, amazing set. But it's still a good set overall, guys. I would recommend it, especially if you're a Lego city collector. I do like it. And I think anyone who collects will find this as a valuable addition to their city. So that's my review, guys. Click the like button down below if you found it useful. If you enjoyed the video, the like is always appreciated to show your support. Subscribe if you are interested in more LEGO videos. I have lots of LEGO content still to come. Uh, I'm going to be doing some reviews of vintage sets. I have some new sets still to review as well, though I'm mostly through my uh, 2021 January wave stuff for now. Uh, there's still plenty of LEGO news that I'm covering as well, so subscribe to see those videos as soon as they come out, and also just go back and look through some of the old videos if there's anything that interests you there. And with all that said, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.